Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from ToneCure.com and in this video we're going to take a look at 17 different and unique string ensemble patches from 17 different libraries and we'll also be varying the velocity crossfade for each of the ensemble patches so you can see what it's going to sound like when going through the various dynamic layers. So let's go ahead and get started with the Synchron Strings Pro library. Here's the interface. It's one of the most recent libraries and here it goes. Next, we'll take a look at the afflatus strings, the lush strings patch, and it's poly legato, and it sounds like this. Audio Bro recently did an update on their library, their string library, for I guess close to a decade. There was Audio Bro Last Two, well, there was Audio Bro Last, and they did a revision and got Last Two. But recently they did a an entire up, upgrade, really, really a new string library altogether, the modern scoring strings, and it sounds like this. So here's Audio Bro Last 2. This is the interface. We're looking at the uh, ensemble patch, and it sounds like this. Now we'll take a look at Spitfire Symphonic Strings, one of the standards in orchestral strings, and it sounds like this.
Now we have the orchestral standard from Orchestral Tools Berlin Strings. One of my favorites from the Albion series is Albion 1, the string ensemble patch, which sounds like this. One of the oldest ensemble patches is the Symphobia, Symphobia 1, the first in the series, and it sounds like this. A very popular string ensemble set is the Cinematic Studio Strings, and it sounds like this. Another very popular string library is the Cinematic Strings. This is Cinematic Strings 2, and it sounds like this. Here's the Cine Strings Core Ensemble Patch.
symphonic library, Appassionata Strings, which has been out quite a long time. Then after the original VSL libraries, they came up with the Synchron player and primarily they were using the Synchron stage and they took the string patches from the original Appassionata, Appassionata strings. They may have updated some of the samples, but then they put them in this new interface with, with the new stage. So instead of having a very dry sound, Without reverb, they just uh, included the natural reverb of a synchron stage, and it sounds like this. Now we have the Vienna Symphonic Library Chamber Strings, which was originally done quite a long time ago. One of the first libraries to come out was the uh, Vienna Symphonic Library. And this is what the chamber strings sounded like then. And then we'll next we'll look at the synchronized chamber strings where they've been redone in the new interface. Also, the reverb I've been using in the VSL chamber strings and the Impassionata strings, as well as the upcoming orchestra strings, is the Berlin Telex Studio from the Mirror X option. So let's go ahead and next take a look at the synchronized version. Now we have the VSL orchestra strings with the older interface and it sounds or they sound like this. Again, the reverb is the uh, Berlex or Berlin, Berlin Teledex Studio.
Next, we have the synchron strings one, which preceded the synchron strings pro, sort of the pro is an outgrowth of the synchron strings one, and it sounds like this. And the last library, which actually adds up to 18 as opposed to 17, is the uh, Symphony Orchestra, the BBC Symphony Orchestra by Spitfire. And what I did is I basically put the violins, violas, cellos, and basses in uh, one patch, and it sounds like this. So I hope you enjoyed this string comparison. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from TomePure.com.